Once again, I have a bit of a combination video as I combine two unrelated pieces of news together into one glorious video, and the first of which is regarding a survey which conducted on who's more interested in VR, and basically it found that PS4 and Xbox One owners are more interested in VR than PC players. Now, this was an exclusive survey which was commissioned by gamesindustry.biz, and I will link, of course, the source in the description below this video. Now, I'm not going to go through the whole thing. They have quite a detailed breakdown down, which will be in the article linked below, but it found some interesting things that console gamers across Europe are more invested in, sorry, interested in investing in VR than their PC counterparts, with 63% of console players indicating interest compared to just 51% of PC gamers. Now, when that category was restricted to PS4 and Xbox One gamers, the percentage of interested players rose to 72%. And for those of you wondering, as to what they mean by Europe, it was France, Spain, Germany, and UK. And again, there is a way more detailed breakdown in their article. I suggest you check the description if you're interested. Moving swiftly on to our second piece of news today, which is a report that is saying that Nintendo will be ending Wii U production later this year. Now, this is according to a report from Nikkei. And according to that report, Nintendo has already stopped manufacturing certain Wii U accessories. Now, they do have a pretty good track record of reporting on Nintendo's unannounced plans, and they are saying that Wii U hardware is being discontinued, a launch of the NX is not guaranteed this year. Now, of course, they will be unveiling it this year, and there have been various rumours which suggest they released this Christmas. We have yet to hear any official word from Nintendo, but I'll be surprised to not see it released this year, but that's a completely different topic. Now, it's well known that the Wii U has not done very well for itself at all. Now, this is due to numerous factors, the most damaging of which I feel was a lack of third-party support, which was probably down to two factors, the Wii U control pad, which of course required a much more work to port a game over from, say, the PC or P uh, PS3 or PS4 even, then of course it would have done previously because of that whole second monitor thing going on and of course the Wii U just didn't have much power under the hood. And of course it had some decent games, the Wii U had you know, Bayonetta 2, it's of course going to have Legend of Zelda Wii U, it's had various Mario games, Super Mario Maker, you know it has had some good games over the years it's been out but it has not done very well for itself. Just to compare it to the Wii, Nintendo has sold about 12.6 million Wii U since 2012, whereas the Wii sold more than 100 million. And even if you don't compare it to that, which of course had huge appeal across people that aren't really gamers, you know, got lots of people interested in games that weren't previously interested and all that, even if you compare it to the PS4 and Xbox One, it's not doing very well at all considering that the Wii U has been out longer. The latest report from Sony has said that the PS4 alone has sold 35 million, so it kind of gives you a pretty clear picture of just how badly the Wii U actually did in the grand scheme of things. So there you have it, the Wii U is officially going to be ending this year, but that is no indication, at least according to Nikkei, that we will be getting the NX this year, this year rather. but as I said, I'd be surprised if we don't get it this year, but again, that is pure speculation from me. I'd love to hear some thoughts from you guys, what do you think Nintendo need to do to turn it around and make the NX a huge success, or at least do way better than the Wii U? The Wii's success is probably a lightning bolt that's not going to strike again anytime soon, but uh, they can at least aim for PS4 or Xbox One level sales, and they'd probably be fairly happy with that. Personally, I just think they need to have a more standard controller. You know, have their weird Nintendo twist as they always do, but no second screen. There have been rumblings that the NX will have one as well, and I'm just like, please no, did the Wii U teach you nothing? Now, of course, it wasn't just that, but that plus the lack of power was not a good combination, but even just that by itself would make it a huge amount of work for developers, and, of course, that resulted in not many games from third-party developers coming to the Wii U, and here we are. So we're going to have to see what happens with the NX. I'm hoping they'll go with more standard controller, but uh, we'll have to see. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.